Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight, we are working in grade 5 on module 2, lesson number 14, and we are using fractional and decimal multiplication to express equivalent measurements. So this is very much like what we were doing yesterday. Um, the only difference is the direction of the size of the units, which you'll see what I mean in just a second. Let's take a look again at two problems from tonight's homework. Problem number one, directions are pretty straightforward. Solve. The first one is done for you. Let's take a look at what they did. They're converting from days into weeks. So they start with 42 days, and they need to get to weeks. So they say, oh, the same, just, just as like they did yesterday, 42 days is the same as 42 copies of one day. And then I see that they need to get from days to weeks, and they say that one day is the same as one-seventh of a week. So this is just like what we were doing yesterday, except the direction of the size of the units is different. Yesterday we had things like kilograms breaking down into smaller units, grams, so our numbers started getting bigger. Today we have the bigger, we have the smaller units, we're convert, converting them over to bigger units, like weeks, and so the size of the number gets smaller. In this case we multiply it by one-seventh of a week, we get 42 divided by seven, or six weeks. So we go from a lot of small units, 42 days, to just a handful of smaller units, six weeks. So let's take a look at B. Convert quarts to gallons. We start with 36 quarts. So I think I know what they want to do here. They want to say, well, this is the same as 36 copies of one quart. And then they say, oh, right. So the quart is the same as one-fourth of a gallon, right? Because there's four quarts in a gallon. So each quart is one-fourth of a gallon. So right, that's the same as, again, 36 copies of one-fourth of a gallon. And this le leads us to know that we can do the multiplication, so 36 divided by 4 gallons. And let's see, if we can do that in our head, if we remember our multiplication tables, 36 divided by 4 would be 9. 9 gallons is the same as 36 quarts. And that makes sense to us when we get done, because, right, if we had 9 gallons, we would know if we were going the other direction, we would need to multiply that by 4 to get to the number of quarts, 4 quarts in a gallon, and we would get 9 times 4, or 36 quarts. So we can work this problem uh, the way that they want us to work it, and then as a check, we can kind of work back the other way to see um, if we can confirm our answer. And we can. Awesome. Let's take a look at one more problem on tonight's homework. After solving, write a statement to express each conversion. The first one is done for you. Let's look at the first one again. So that's 2a. The screen measures 36 inches. Convert 36 inches to feet. So that, that's 36 copies of 1 inch. And then each of those inches, we can say, well, an inch is the same as 1 twelfth of a foot, because there's 12 inches in every foot. So those are the same things. And now we can multiply this 36 times 1 twelfth, or 36 twelfths feet, and then we can do the division. 36 divided by 12 is 3. So we're able to say that the screen measures 36 inches or 3 feet. Let's take a look at 2b and see if we can solve that problem. A jug of juice holds 8 cups. Convert 8 cups to pints. Okay, well, we start off with 8 cups, so that's a good starting point. 8 cups equals 8 copies of 1 cup. All right, that's easy enough. And that's the same as, let's see, that's the same as eight copies of, well, let's see, how about pints? Let's see, a cup is, let's see, there's two cups in each pint, so that must mean that each cup is a half of a pint. Okay, well, let's see, one half of a pint. So that's the same as, we can go ahead and do that, we can do the multiplication, right? Eight times one half is eight divided by two, eight copies of a half, eight and a half pints. And we can do our division, which is 8 divided by 2. That's pretty easy. We can do that in our head. That would just be the same as 4 pints. But we got to write our statement here at the end. You know, I'm going to go with a keyboard here. I'm going to say the jug holds 8 cups or 4 pints. See if we can explode that out. There we go. Sorry, that kind of overwrote at the top. This way, I can actually get it here legibly. Jug holds eight cups or four pints. Those two measurements are equivalent. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Take care.